In this uh, video clip, I'll show you some more about the calculated columns and what's possible um, when working in SharePoint and with metadata. So if I go to my little custom list, I've shared a couple of posts in the last couple of days um, that I've actually used some validations as well that I've done on columns. And what I'd like to do in this list is that you'll see that I've got an order date and I've got a delivery date. I want to bring in a column that automatically calculates those days between um, those dates. So very easy to actually um, just um, obviously divide the days. But let's take a look and go to the list settings. So I'm going to create a column. I'm going to call it um, days to delivery, maybe. <laughs> and in this days to delivery, I'm going to make it a calculated column. And the formula is going to be equal dated if I'm going to choose the first column or the older date and the older date will be um, the order date. Then I'm going to go comma, select the second column, my delivery date, um, comma, Let's see. And then it's asking me, how do you want to return this? I'm going to say, please return this as number and zero decimals. And let's see if that formula works. It definitely does. I'd like to do another test, though, because I, I'm actually thinking SharePoint will also automatically detect um, the two dates and be able to subtract them from each other. So. Let's, uh, let's just have a look at that again and go to settings. And I can go create column. Um, days. I'm going to have to call this something else or it won't work. To deliver. Oh my word. De delivery. And again, I'm going to make it a calculated column. Let's see if this, because uh, I used quite a fancy little formula there, but. But I'm wondering whether if I just go equal um, delivery date minus order date, well, that'll give me the number. Pretty sure it will. Well, there's two ways of achieving the same results. Um, the first is using a formula to determine um, the difference between the two dates. And the second would be the easier way to just subtract the two dates from each other. Because, of course, SharePoint's clever enough to realize that that's a date and that um, you don't have to build some um, crazy formula for it. So definitely quite a cool way to determine days um, lapsed between two different date columns that you have. First one, I used a formula. And in the next one, I just said uh, subtract, um, take delivery date, minus order date, return the value for me. So pretty cool. There we go. Saving some time.